Welcome back to Tech Solution Z. This channel is all about easy, practical tutorials to help you get more out of your Linux and Windows setups. If you're tuning in for the first time, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming guides. Today's video is all about running Android applications on Zorin OS 18. To do that, we'll be installing Wadroid, a fantastic open source project that lets you run a complete Android environment right on your Linux desktop. On the screen, you can see that I'm running Zorin OS 18 with the GNOME desktop on Wayland. This matters because Wadroid integrates seamlessly with Wayland on Zorin, so we don't need anything extra like Weston. Everything works right out of the box. Now we're looking at the Wadroid directory on SourceForge. From here, download the Android 13 system image and vendor image needed for Wadroid to run properly. You'll notice two types of builds, the vanilla version and the one that comes with gapps. For this video, I'm grabbing the gapps build so we get access to the Google Play Store inside Wadroid. The files are fairly large, so depending on your internet speed, the download might take a little while. Once both zip files are saved to your system, head over to their folder and unzip them using the command displayed on your screen. Before installing anything, update your package index. This ensures everything is fresh and ready. After that, install all the required packages that Wadroid needs to run. If you already have these installed, you can skip ahead. Once the dependencies are in place, add the official Wadroid repository, update your system again, and install Wadroid using the command shown in the video. When that's done, list the two extracted files, the system image and vendor image, just to confirm everything's in place. Now create the folder path shown on your screen and move both files into that directory. This part is simple but crucial for Wadroid to pick up the images properly. Next, initialize Wadroid by running the setup command you see on your screen. Once the process finishes, you can close the terminal. Open your Applications menu, search for Wadroid, and launch it. And there it is, Wadroid up and running on Zorin OS 18, which itself is built on Ubuntu Noble. Since we downloaded the gapps variant, the Google Play Store is available inside Wadroid. I'll open the Play Store now and install an app so you can see everything working smoothly from end to end. And that wraps up today's tutorial. If this helped you run Android apps on your Linux desktop, hit like, share it around, and subscribe for more simple and clear tech guides. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.